You underestimated greatly Most number ones ever How long did it really take me? The part I love most is they need me more than they hate me So they never take shots I got everybody on safety I got from the stripper bitch She from Kanker She just brought a Glock With a ruler clip Boy don't play with me This bitch a hoe Met her at the store You know how it goes She's steady calling my phone I done told you before that it's over, leave me alone No, it's hurting you to see I'ma boss up on any occasion Young nigga popping tags, young nigga got a bag And he got his own swag, let's go Tell them motherfucking police, pick me up I got them youngins gone crazy, tryna piss up I'm in town, yeah. party's going down Shoot them down, with a 50 round I come with bags of the benches, I shop in my line Bitch, this size for me. Gotta call bitches that die for me. Whole game rockin' them Prada teeth. Smile at the bitch with my diamond teeth. I put your bitch in the back of the bitch. Bitch, I got my own. If I don't need security in the club, all they wolfing on the neck, nigga. I thought you was a thug. I ain't got baby, would you rock with me? Having you is winning the lottery. One in a million kind of show. Baby, you can count on me. You already know there's a lot on me. Take it to the place you wanna go. You committed robbery, stole my heart faster than lightning. And even though you take it kind of slow, you are like art to me. Hit the bullseye like archery. Shotty, let me take it to roll. Oh, don't play me, baby. There is no way. If you try, then there is the doorway. Look, shotty, colder than no way. And she is clever, like where to play. Yeah. It's deeper than just a feeling. Like, you just know. You know what I'm saying? Cause, like, us growing up inside the industry, we'd have bumped to plenty of girls, like, who was rocking with us. Who we, but you just know that one girl who you love. Like, you can't describe love. You don't see that really often in the hip hop community or in the black community in general. Like, a lot of things could just bypass us or people would speak out on it but not really feel as strongly as like he would because he oppressed the issue or really make a difference with his I music. I get a lot, iPhone. I get a lot. You know the iCloud lock? I steal the phone, iCloud lock it, sell it to your ass lock. Then you, then you gotta, then you gotta give me the, you gotta give me the, um, you gotta give me the phone back, cause you gonna think I'ma unlock it for you, then I'ma drop off. Not at all. Um, it's a blessing, you know. You never, you know, see what's gonna happen in the future. You just live. I always live this lifestyle, you know. And I always knew I wanted to be something, you know. When you say that you wanted to be something. I was uh, making car parts and shit. I made them little handles that be inside that people be putting their clothes and holding on to when they think they finna die and shit. I made them handles and then, yeah, I probably worked there for like two, three weeks. Y'all nigga got fired. If it's basically, I feel like I am God's gift. I'm the chosen one. Um, I do feel like I am a superhero. I think I have superpowers. I don't know, don't call me crazy because I really think I do. I can't make shit disappear or fucking move like, but. The next essential item would be my kids. It wasn't able to be here with me today, but I have each one of them on a chain, a picture of them on a chain. So my kids and my family would be my next essential item. Most high, gotta get the money first to take care of my kids. My next essential item, my phone, my phone. I was on tour with The weekend. I pretty much take one of these everywhere I go. I have a whole collection of Goyard. I have like probably like 16 bags. Right? This is my favorite one and this is like my worst condition one. It's ripped right here, but I made it into a harness. I'm bringing as many things in here because you know I don't have a lot of items I feel like I can't live without. I'm not materialistic, but I got this recently and I'm in love with it. It's a Sky Dweller stainless steel Rolex. I like the color of it. I don't really like yellow gold, so for me, this can go with so much in the blue face. Well, yeah, like, I, I obviously, you know, I, I always keep my ear out for, for, for the hardest shit. I have a lot of respect. I have a lot of respect for, you know, the other two guys that I'm constantly, you know, up against, which is like Cole and Kendrick. Mm, Three-headed um, monster. Yeah, yeah, so I have a lot of respect for those guys. You know, they, I know what the kids want. I know what we all desire. I know, I understand things, and I feel like that's why I've been placed in such an important position because I understand things and I just understand how people feel in the aspect of, okay, I know how it feels to be alone. Buy Starbucks and we could be late for our flight. And I don't even, damn, I just be stopping at Starbucks. Like, nah, I need some Madelines. I found these by just exploring. I like exploring around a lot. I'm a city boy, so I like just walking around the city, going into these little crazy buildings and all that, just figuring out. The what whole racist shit, I guess, is pretty funny. Um, Cause it's funny, like when I made the record, I had no intention of, of being racist in any way. I mean, 
You know, I, I <laughs> nigga, like come on, I'm black. What the fuck? You know, it's what my saying? favorite, right? I don't know why. It just it look, it's fucking pissing me off. Like, it looks like favorite. It sounds like chewing gum for old people with sensitive teeth. What's your favorite jury that you have? Tell you the truth, when I'm at home and I'm going that somewhere, makes sense. I, but you know, sometimes in life, some of the things that may seem like annoying and like frustrate you the most um you might hit a point in your life where like you might excel and things might be going good but then you're always trying to achieve the next goal and the average like new york day-to-day -day shit right now is just different lanes it's the school kids and then it's the street niggas and then it's the real street niggas you know what i'm saying like when i say street niggas it's the like the niggas that just want to skip school and do dumb shit then it's other niggas for me that's so i ain't gonna lie i was just like i don't know i just I just, which category you putting I, I was telling her for like a whole year i was like wow so i'm gonna do it and then, like, I dropped the, my first music video. Mm -hmm. And then, like, after a month, it was I, like, I told my mom, I told my mom, like, if this gets 30K in three days, I was like, I'm going to give myself that. If it gets that, then I'm dropping out of school. Wow. And then it, it, I've been looking for a girlfriend for so long. Like, I don't, I don't fuck that shit now. Like, that shit don't work out for me. I just, you know, I, I want somebody who understand me. That's it. I really want somebody who don't know me. I want her to support me, but at the same time, not give a fuck about what I got going on. We met through like a mutual friend. It was his friend, but he was like my OG, like an uncle, like somebody I looked up to mm -hmm. from my neighborhood. And uh, he, he was with Thug. His, his dad had died. It was a funeral they was leaving from it. You know what I'm saying? Where we come from, we get the bread. We get the bag. That's all we know. Right. You know what I'm saying? And we eliminate anything that comes in our way. You understand what I'm trying to say? We don't watch none of that shit. No walking What is shit. that? What is that, ops? <laughs> right. Who are they? Where they at? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? That's what let me know, like, oh, mm. like, something's there, right? So I say all of that to say I kept putting myself in situations or finding myself in situations where, like, I would want to drink. Mm. And this is a small example I'm giving you because it's kind of inc inconsequential. I feel, you know really, what I, mean, in my life. I feel really it's good. One of those personas that resonate towards me, I mean, just like, it defined me in a lot of ways. And also just him him passing and it was just like me continuing his legacy of just even me believing in him and like damn. Like. You know what I'm saying? School over here with the nice teaching and nice people all that. All right, so now I can, I'm going off they from that. Since they nice and being, you know, productive and all, I'm doing my work, I'm in school. But now I'm out of school with the people that ain't doing shit, but on the streets, all they know is being loud, mean, bad, you know? I didn't even know when I had the label meeting before I I did the um album release. My my top listens is L. A. Chicago, then it's like Dallas, and then it goes and New York is not even one number one. So let me ask you this question then: When you posted it, did well, you? I know still write pen and paper. Honestly, um, when I'm in the studio, I, I'd re I'd rather pen and paper. But if I like I'm on the move and I'm just trying to do it fast, yeah, I'll use my phone. But mostly pen and paper. So what are some pet peeves? In the studio. In the studio. Now it's like, at first I was at first when I was doing shows I was like, damn, like I low key want a little break or something. Uh -huh. And then I got the break that I asked for. <laughs> this shit ain't it. <laughs> I want to do some more shows. Put me back on the road. Right, cause like every rapper's life is basically segmented into like touring and recording. That song's fire. It's like some pop back outside shit. Yeah, okay. That's like what it's about. It's like it's like I'm tired of this COVID shit. Right. I'm ready to pop out, pop back out. Wait, vibe. are you gonna drop it when we're over with this shit? <laughs> I just like what they was talking about, and I liked the way that they uh, that they I don't know were expressing themselves, I guess. And mm -hmm. I really took that, um, you know, with whatever I was going through, with whatever I was feeling. <laughs> Every consequence come with a price what? That's my nickname, not nice Shining like I'm Mega Man I smoke Mega Man Don't come at the youth Send you back to where you came from Niggas quick to change uh. 